Insight Compute is a powerful profiling tool to get detailed performance data and actionable advice for optimizing CUDA kernels. You can collect information like GPU utilization, memory and cache statistics, roofline analysis, and much more. It even has built-in expertise to identify bottlenecks and tag performance metrics to lines in your source code. This new application replay capability unlocks the power of Insight Compute profiling for more users and workloads. To understand this new application replay feature, you need to understand a little bit about how Insight Compute works under the hood. Insight Compute automatically replays a CUDA kernel several times using different data collectors and then aggregates all the data into a single report. This is necessary because certain types of data need to be collected separately. For example, certain collectors may have high overhead, which isn't suitable for collecting accurate timings. Other data collectors may need hardware features that can't be used simultaneously across collections. What's important is that after all the kernel replays and collections are completed, you get an accurate representation of the performance for your kernel. In order to make sure these multiple kernel replays are executing identically, Insight Compute saves and restores the GPU memory state between each replay. In some cases, this can have a severe impact on profiling time, particularly applications with very large GPU memory allocations that need to be saved and restored for each replay. I sped up this example for the video, but you can see it took about 34 seconds to complete 29 kernel replay passes on this kernel with a large allocation. While Insight Compute restores GPU memory, it does not save and restore CPU memory between kernel replays. In some cases, this can cause applications to hang or execute incorrectly. One common cause for this is the use of unified memory, often referred to as UVM, for control flow. For example, if a semaphore variable in UVM is updated by the CPU to control execution, this update won't be reset between replays. This simple doorbell application runs fine without profiling, but hangs waiting for a flag that will never be set after the first kernel profiling pass. Hopefully you now have an idea for what this application replay feature is all about. By using the command line flag dash dash replay mode equals application, or setting the replay mode in the common tab of the activity configuration in the GUI, you can instruct Insight Compute to replay the entire application for each kernel profiling pass. Obviously this isn't necessary or even recommended for many applications, but if your kernels are running into issues like the ones just described, it can be a lifesaver. When I run my kernel with a large allocation using this new flag, it only takes 13 seconds to profile as opposed to 34 seconds before and my doorbell application won't hang anymore because the control flow is reset when the application restarts. Application Replay is just one of the many new features in the CUDA Toolkit 11.1 release of Insight Compute. You can find more information on the Insight Compute homepage and learn about all of the tools we're making for CUDA developers at our online developer zone.